Right now in America, almost every tire changed, every road driven, every playground built is contributing to decades worth of coho salmon dying. It's one of the top five like most toxic chemicals to aquatic organisms that people have ever reported. 6-PPD quinone is a toxin produced when the common tire preservative 6-PPD mixes with oxygen. As tires age, the rubber starts to peel off, leaving bits and pieces in their path. When it rains, anything that doesn't soak into soil becomes stormwater pollution, eventually ending up in local waterways where every fall, coho salmon return to spawn. They're literally soaking up this chemical that's interfering with how their brains work, and then they're dying before they can get to that next part of the, the creek in order to, to lay their eggs. Sean Dixon is the executive director of Puget Soundkeeper Alliance. With the help of hundreds of volunteers, they've been tracking declining coho salmon populations. <laughs> First, bringing their data to the University of Washington, Tacoma, where scientist Ed Kaloje and his team worked to narrow down the thousands of chemicals found in stormwater pollution to one. I think literally it was December 12th, 2019, Jenny was like, hey, I think I know what it is. We're just, we're just trying to size sort this Chinook. The team brought a sample to Jen McIntyre over at Washington State University in Puyallup, where 6-PPD quinone was put to the test. The fish would start to come to the surface of the water. They'd start swimming at the surface of the water. They'd start to lose equilibrium and swim on their sides and upside down and eventually settle to the bottom of the tank and, and die. Scientists call the discovery a career-defining moment. Relief and excitement. Now that excitement soon started to fade with the question, now that we know what's killing salmon, what do we do about it? Tonight on King 5 at 6.30 and 11, I talk to advocates who are taking legal action against local agencies for not doing more to protect salmon in the Pacific Northwest. But for now, reporting live here in Seattle, Angelique Hockaday, King 5 News.